good day. Um, today, the purpose of this very short video is to learn how to use the difference between uh, the words was as well as were and what it is that you look at in terms of establishing which one you are supposed to use. So in everyday language, uh, you would need to use, both words would essentially be used to essentially um, describe something that has already happened in the past tense. So it is a state of being, essentially it's a state of being that, that is in the past tense. So with was, that would apply more to your singular uh, subject. So for example, let's take I, or he, or she, or it. That is all singular. Each one is singular, meaning that it's only one of that particular thing. So it's one person or one thing, um, which essentially would mean that you would use what as opposed to what in that instance. Take for example, we were talking about being in a state of being um, of what? Being happy, let's say. Uh, as opposed to saying, I am happy, you would say, I was happy. That would essentially mean that I am no longer happy for whatever reason. <laughs> okay. So, um, I, in that instance, would be applicable because we're talking about me. And you're not talking about me and another person. At the moment, it's more than one person or more than one subject. In that instance, you would then introduce were. In other words, as opposed to I was happy, suppose it's me and somebody else that I'm describing the state of that was in the past tense happy. So instead of saying we was happy, you would say we were happy. So essentially that would be a very simplistic way of looking at the difference and how to differentiate between the two. And I hope that was easy enough to understand. It's quite an easy concept to grasp. I hope you learned something new today, and thank you for watching my video. Thank you, and good day.